Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Google Pixel XL Now y'all know I hate talking about specs, but since this is an unboxing video Let's go over the main specs that you need to know starting with the most important spec the price Now this phone is available in two different versions. You got 32 gigs and 128 gigs if you buy this directly from Google the 32 gig version is going to run you $769 plus tax, $69.93 plus shipping, $18.99. So you're looking at a total of $857. Now, if you want the 128 gig version, add $100 to that. So the price is pretty savage. Now, the phone comes in three different colors. You got very silver, quiet black, and really blue. You get a 5.5 inch quad HD AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 2560. That's 534 for the PPI Patrol. Now the phone does feature Corning Gorilla Glass 4. You get a unibody build, half metal, half glass, and it is splash and dust resistant. Now the phone is running the latest version of Android, that's 7.1 Nugget. You get two years of guaranteed updates and three years of guaranteed security updates. Now as far as the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821, that's the latest version, and you got the Adreno 530 GPU. Now like I said, two different versions, 32 gigs and 128 gigs, both of them have four gigs of RAM. Now no micro SD card slot for expandable memory, but not a big deal because if you buy this phone, you get unlimited storage for pictures and videos, high resolution in the Google Cloud. Now here's the best part about this phone, the camera. Google claims this is the best phone camera, period. So on the back, you got a 12.3 megapixel camera, that's f2.0, with phase detection, laser autofocus, dual tone LED flash, no optical image stabilization, but it does have image stabilization software built in. Now you can shoot videos at 4K, 30 frames per second. On the front, you got an eight megapixel camera, that's f2.4, and you can shoot videos 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now here's another hot feature. You got a 3,450 milliamp non-removable battery that features fast charge. Now Google claims 15 minutes of charge will give you seven hours of battery life. That sounds crazy, I don't believe it, but we're gonna have to put it to the test. Now you also get USB type C, you get a fingerprint sensor and a notification LED, and this is the first phone that has the Google Assistant. All right, so here we go, Google Pixel XL. Slides out just like that. We grab a little unboxing knife. What we got today? Batman. Shout out to Batman. Right. Here we go. All right, so here's your phone. Let's power this on real quick. All right. Let's see what else you get. Inside. Usual books and shit follows to the side. Let's see, this is USB to USB type C. Okay, nice thick cable, nice and thick, giggity. What else? Here's your OTG. Okay, let me hide that from Xerxes. Shout out to Xerxes on deck. You get another cable. Ah, let's see which one is this. Now this is USB-C to USB-C. And here's your fast charging, charging brick. Let's see, five volts, three amps. All right, so definitely fast charge. So that's pretty much it. Now here's your phone. Okay, now let me turn this down. Mine should already be activated. On the side note, if you buy this from Google and you activate it on Sprint, you're gonna have to call up Sprint and ask them for an SD card, uh, I'm sorry, ask them for a SIM card. Unless you got another phone like a Nexus 6P then you can use that SIM card. That's what I did on this one. All right, so let's look around the phone real quick. Here's your power button. Hold up, watch the flop. Look out, Zerks. Here's your power button. Does have a nice texture to it. Volume up and down, one single button. Nice clicks on them. There's your eight megapixel camera on the front, 12 megapixel camera on the back, glass and metal. Now, a lot of people don't like the way this looks. I don't really have a problem with it. I would have preferred either all glass or all metal. I don't know where they're going with this two-tone thing, but it is what it is. There's your fingerprint sensor. Headphone jack on the top. 
Got to mention that. And on the bottom, here's your dual speaker grills and your USB-C. All right, so I'm going to pause the video real quick. Let me slap all my information in and we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes. And I got to tell y'all, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a go. If you're looking for a stock Android phone, this is the one you want. Now, that's the key phrase, stock Android phone. Now, if you're coming from a Galaxy or an HTC or an LG, then you're going to miss a lot of the features and a lot of the motions that you get on other Android UIs. This one is going to seem pretty boring to you. But like I said, if that's what you're looking for, stock experience, this is it. Now, as far as the build quality, excellent. Lightweight, doesn't feel cheap at all. It is a fingerprint magnet, but it feels good in the hands. Ladies, holla at me. Fingerprint sensor, super fast, works 100% of the time, real easy to set up. Now, a couple of things. If you notice, no app tray. You just swipe up, so you, you don't got that button no more for the app tray. You just swipe up. But here's the thing. If you like rocking the black wallpapers, the app tray doesn't get 100% black. It stays gray. So whatever wallpaper you use, you're going to have that big gray bar. Now, that's not the biggest deal in the world. You could download a different launcher and just rock out. Another thing, on the bottom, these aren't dual speakers. All right, the sound only comes out of one side. The other side is just for decoration. Now, that's kind of a downer because all of the other Nexus phones, well, basically the last couple of Nexus phones that came out, they all had dual speakers. Now, technically, this is not a Nexus, but you know what I'm saying. It would have been nice if they would have just had dual speakers, especially for that price. Now, let's look at the OS real quick. Swipe over, take you to your Google Now, swipe up to your app tray, swipe down. There's your notifications, swipe down again. There's all your toggles. All right, so let's check the settings. Now, like I said, you got your, you got your support 24-7. Not too much to look at in the settings. No motions, no fancy gestures, no gimmicks. Really nothing. Let's just go to uh, moves real quick. You do have three. You got swipe for notifications. So if you swipe down on the fingerprint sensor, you can see your notifications. All right, you got double tap. Got to activate the camera. Now that is a hot feature right there. This is the World Star phone. Two taps. Right to your camera. All right, so that's pretty dope. And if you swipe down on the fingerprint sensor, that'll bring up your notifications. So you swipe up. Just like that. And that's pretty much it for the notifications and gestures. Let's see, one more. They got one more. Flip the camera. All right, so when you're using your Google camera, you just shake it, and that'll take you to your selfie camera. Pretty much it. Now, speaking of camera, this is supposed to be the best camera in the market. We're going to put it to the test, but so far, it does look awesome. Point and shoot status. Look at that. Now, when, once you zoom in, look at the detail. This is amazing. All right, so the camera definitely looks dope, but there's one thing. Now, when you go to your camera, there's no pro mode. All right, so you just got regular camera. You go to video. From the camera, you got your timer. You got HDR, your grid. You can change the warmth, so you got cloudy, sunny, fluorescent. And you got your flash. Pretty much it. Now, you got slow motion, panoramic. You got your photosphere, your lens blur. that give you those Instagram filter looks. And then you take it to your settings. Now, from your settings... Not too many settings. All right, but you get the unlimited Google Photo storage, so you might as well take all 4K videos, and you might as well use high resolution on everything. Now, you got your Google Voice Assistant. Now, when I do the full review, we'll put it up against Siri, but right now, it's working pretty good. Let's try it out. Who won the Giants game? Last Sunday, the New York Giants played the Baltimore Ravens. The final score was 27 to 23 Giants. You could do a whole bunch of things with this. Let's see. Um, how old is Barack Obama? Barack Obama is 55 years old. And you even got a little bit more Siri style in integration. Tell me a joke. Okay, thinking of a good joke. Take your time. We're only doing a live video right here. No rush. 
Did you hear about the two antennas that got married? The ceremony was okay, but the reception was great. <sighs> womp womp. <laughs> you get the idea. So it's a little bit better than Google Now. It's a little bit uh, than the previous versions of Google Now. A little bit more integrated. Now you could use it to play music and do a whole bunch of things. I'll show you that when I do the full review. But overall, fresh out of the box, this is a go. Now let me show you the speaker real quick. Let's get max volume. The speaker does sound pretty good though. Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, uh, back to this rap shit. I, I spit would have been nice if it was both. It would have been twice as loud. Or if they bit off Apple and put it in the top, that would have been hot too. Not bad, not bad. I don't know why they didn't put one in the top. They should have copied that from Apple and this phone would have been way better. Now that's the thing. 850 bucks, is this phone worth it? <sighs> that's going to be a hard one. Now, you're going to have to call that for yourself. I would say if you're looking for a stock Android phone, then it's definitely going to be worth it because of the camera and because, uh, because of the latest processor and you get the unlimited storage. So, yeah, that's a couple of extra dollars, so it might be worth it. But when I do the full review, hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover and I'm going to cover it. Now, you know we're going to talk about the battery. We're going to talk about the lag factor. This is Android uh, 7 Nugget. <laughs> This is Nugget, so you know you got your split-screen multitasking. Now, it doesn't work on every app, but it does work on a bunch. So you could do Internet and YouTube at the same time. So it does work. But we'll go over the whole OS. We'll try out the full version of the Assistant, put it to the test, and we'll see what it is. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock, one to beam up. Energize.